Hi, in today's video I will show you how to burn the Raspbian operating system to a microSD card to use with the Raspberry Pi. The only things you'll need to follow along with this tutorial are a computer, an SD card, and an adapter like this one for USB. First we are going to get the Raspberry Pi operating system file which is called an image because its file extension is .img. And we will grab this from the official Raspberry Pi website under the download section. So we're going to download the Raspbian operating system and we're going to go with the one with the desktop interface, not light. Light is command line only and we don't want that. I'm just going to save the file and after it's done downloading you can just drag it to your desktop or wherever. Just remember where you put the file. Next we're going to head over to the 7-zip website to download their utility. Uh, depending on what version operating system you're using you're going to select 32 or 64 bit. Just to be safe, you should go with 32-bit if you don't know, but I'm going to go with 64-bit because I know that's what I'm running. Just launch and run the installer once it finishes downloading and everything should be pretty easily configured. Next, we're going to head over to the Etra website at etra.io and once again, just download the version for whatever operating system you're using. I'm going with 64 and just run that installer too and set up everything with the pre-configured settings. After Etcher finishes downloading, that's pretty much all we need, so you can close out of all your other windows and we'll get started with burning the image. First hover over, then right click on the Raspbian operating system folder that you downloaded before, and select 7-zip, then extract here, which should create a small disk image icon on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. At this point you can just delete the old folder that you downloaded because we won't be needing that anymore. And then just launch up the Etcher utility. At this point, mount and plug in your SD card into your computer. I should note that your SD card should be at least 8GB of space. Next, over on Etra, hit Select Image and choose the disk image file that you extracted previously with 7-zip, which is on your desktop or wherever you chose to save it to. Next, under the drive, select the microSD card that you plugged in. Your card should be empty and formatted to FAT32 or something similar, but that doesn't really matter as it'll clear it anyways. So you can just continue and then once finished just hit flash. The flashing process may take a while due to the read write speed of both your computer and the adapter you're using, although it's usually the adapter that bottlenecks the speed. Once the flash is complete just wait for Etcher to validate the image file and then it's all good to go. That's all there is for the flashing process and this works for all the operating systems for Raspberry Pi like Kali Linux, Ubuntu, and RetroPi. All you have to do now is just plug the SD card in your Raspberry Pi, power it up, plug an HDMI to monitor, and you are ready to go. Let me know if this works for you, and feel free to ask any questions below in the comments, and thank you for watching this video.